Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Necromunda Hired Gun. So, I've been, you know, with reservation, quietly excited for this game. Being published by Focus Home, I'm a big fan of Focus Home. They're one of the bigger, let's call them a double A studio, if you want to give designations. They're definitely not triple A, but they're not a tiny little, well, I shouldn't say studio, actually publisher, but they're a publishing house that does a lot for indie slash, I don't know, what, what would you like to call them, B-grade games? The things that aren't quite AAA, but they're not quite indie either. So they release quite a lot of games, and I like quite a lot of them. The, the company doing this is called Stream On, or Stream On. I'm not 100% sure how to say it out loud, but uh, they did a game, Divine Cybermancy, I'm not familiar with. But then um, the game before this that they did was Space Hulk Deathwing. Now... I missed that at launch. I have played it in recent times. It's It didn't quite do it for me. The, the sort of lumbering Terminator movement was a bit off, but I, I understand what they were trying to do. Um, but there were some aspects of the game were really cool, like the environmental design and fighting all those monsters. Very, very cool. Anyway, so there's your lead into where we're coming from. These guys have done a Warhammer license before and to certain degrees, we're quite successful with it. Um, this will be cool as well because I love Necromunda as a tabletop game. The last game, another Focus Home published game, was uh, the actual Necromunda game where it was about gang fighting. This seems to be going into the lore of the Necromunda sort of world, the hive world that it is, which is really fascinating because that's not really something I've seen in a lot of mainstream 40K. There's probably books and all that about it, but as far as like the tabletop and all that, the, the deeper lore behind the Necromunda sort of city isn't really a mainstream thing, or planet, I suppose you'd say. Anyway, this is going to be cool. It looks like it's a fast-paced first-person shooter type game set in that universe, exploring that sort of fringe lore of 40K. Not really Space Marines, more about, you know, nobodies like me and you trying to get get by in a horrible, horrible universe. <laughs> so, that's your lead into it. We've covered the pedigree, for better and for worse. But this game could go either way, and I'm pumped to see which way it goes. The Guilders run the Underhive. Without the Merchant's Guild, there's no order to life down here. Okay. No one to stop things unraveling completely. You're thinking there's no order down here anyway. But you just don't see it. All right. Order is what every ganger down here is looking for. Just an order they can change. One where they can get to be top dog. The big boss man. Not just a pro laboring away, toiling for house high and throw. Right. Order down here is different. Nobody wants the enforcers, or worse, coming down here, trying to make things the way they are up in Hive City. So we all follow the Gilders' rules. Okay. Without them, it all breaks down. No one kills a Gilder unless they're truly dangerous or truly desperate. And the truly desperate are the most dangerous of all. That's why I think we can help each other out. Okay. We're going to earn ourselves that bounty. For Doggy. Taking down whoever killed Mara Virax. And we're going to put things back the way they should be. You see, we're agents of order, the likes of us. Even if we do get to sow a little strife along the way. You're in. Trust me. It'll be worth it. They're yeah, right. Do this edge, Lord. Well, that's a cool setup. I don't know anything about any of this stuff, but that sounds cool. Super underworld, almost, well, guilders, enforcers, right? Pseudo-police of the, of the criminal undercity. I like it. Chapter one, a member of the Merchant's Guild has been murdered, and there is a huge bounty on the outlaw responsible. You and two fellow hired guns are in pursuit of the outlaw and believe that you know where to find him. Attack in concert. To capture the end of this sentence. Oh no, it's back. Okay, cool. To capture the outlaw and claim the bounty. Okay, very good. Proceed. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. My Mastiff is named Mastiff. That's pretty clever. I can pat it, so we've gotten that out of the way, I suppose. Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't. Some things are best left not known. 
I don't need to know if I can shoot the dog or not. What's this? Please confirm your identity. Ah, the old half price haircut. It's very popular these days. I suppose you've got to save your dollars where you can. And just paying the barber half as much to cut half as much of your head seems to be the guy. Look at this dude. It's Riddick. Except he missed the heart haircut day. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All this. It's so interesting. Everyone so needs to have an original haircut that they all actually have unoriginal haircuts. What's going on with this hat? It's bloody Raiden out of a... Uh... She looks moderately normal. Okay, they like the, they like their their flat hats, don't they? I don't know what else to call them. I look okay. Yeah. Uh, oh wow, very edgy, very cool. Yeah, right. Okay, that beard looks stuck on. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know. Give me just someone like he seems generic and boring compared to well. I mean, actually, no. He's probably the most generic one of the lot, right? Yeah, I don't know, just give me this boring looking bloke. Confirm your grade. I'm normal, though, according to some people, I'm a bit easy. <laughs> Alright, cool. We picked my face, because that matters a whole lot in a game where it's first person. Hello, boys. What's what's on the cook? Yeah. You sure? Positive. The black serpents are holed up. I brought me dog. It is a large dog, hey. You sure about this? Sure they're in there, or sure about getting in dog? Relax. It's just a few Eshes. And then. So Esh is one of the clans. I know that much. Hey, day. Okay. Be ready for oh, it looks good, eh? Yeah. I'm still in lock perspective, so I can wiggle my gun around. So that's interesting. Come in from both sides. From okay. Good thing my dog's not going to give away our position. Dude, look at this. It's like a church underground. Nice. This dude's bayonets upside down, but I don't think we need to tell him that. Wow, is is that like a bolter that he's got? It looks right like one. Down. You and the hound. Right? Yeah. Okay. This is it. Let's go. Wait, so I get voice acting? Okay, interesting. I can see the sentries. Wait it till I'm on the ground. Then take out as many as you can. Let them pass around. Uh-oh, that's not good. Always strikes me as a bit of a waste of budget, right? The idea of... what They've made so I can pick male or female, so they're probably going to need male and female voice acting. Just just pick one. Make me a dude or a chick, I couldn't give a shit, and then hire one voice actor and save a whole bunch of your budget. Let the hunt begin. It seems like unnecessary and exorbitant costs. Restart mission, back to HQ, buy stims. No, I'm good. Thanks. All right, we got ADS. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is going to solve a few arguments. Okay. You will see dome runner beacons during your mission. They indicate the most used paths, so follow them to find your way into the underhive. All right, beacon, scene. Oh, geez, look at this. So this is Asher territory. Yeah, so that's one of the gangs of, uh, of Necromunda, I know that. New space to move forward at the edge of a wall, okay. Oh yeah, okay. Look at this big boy. Is he uh, an Ogryn? Bit of an Ogryn thing going on, right? Oh, what is this? Press left control. I don't like how the tooltip's moving while I'm reading it. That's infuriating. While moving to the side or backwards. Oh, okay. Oh, and I can slide down as well. That's cool beans. All right, off we go. Hold space against the wall to... Jeez, that was a bit unnecessary. Did I go over a lip or something then? Okay. Hold space. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Okay. Oh, these environments, man, are something else. This is cool. Am I going in there? I don't want to. I want to go in here. Negotiate. Hello, sir. Jesus. Let this guy... This rush, damn door. This guy pops off at parties, doesn't he? Oh, is he dead? Don't kill the door, man. Oh my god! This is nuts! Thank you. Don't f don't ever forget to tip the man in the elevator. Oh, there's no shift. There's no running. It's sprinting. Okay. I'm in. Let's do it. See you at the prize. See you at the prize, boys. Was I supposed to go down here? Doesn't matter. I did. Oh, what's going on here? Press E to open chests. Your exploration stat defines your ability to survive and will influence the quality of loot that you find. Right, so I can level up the boxes that I find. Yes, that's how we open doors. Hold E to equip a weapon. Open the weapon wheel with Z. You only have one special slot for weapons that you equip directly during each mission. All other loot and weapons that you simply pick up go into your armory and will be available at the end of that mission. Equip, hold E. Right. We need to take down it. Hello? Oh. I guess it's going that way then. Jesus. Don't think their dental records are going to do them much good. Past the first sentries coming in from the north. You see anything yet? Plenty. Keep going. Can I just jump? Oh, here we, here we bloody go. Oh, hello? Don't mind me. Yeah, this is unreal. Excuse me. Oh, wait, what's this? Press E in close combat before takedown gauge is empty. Some massive enemies and enemies with refractor fields are immune to takedowns. Well, maybe not this, Sheila. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, hey. Was there someone down here that wasn't you? Press C to call your cyber mastiff. <laughs> oh, we'll also attack enemy spot. Oh, I broke my dog. <laughs> I'm not sure that was supposed to happen, but yes. Go get him. Go get him. Yeah, eat a hit. Can I patch you? Where are you? Oh, he, does he just dis he despawns? So I just fire him like a bloody missile. Where are you? First, there's someone else down here, and it ain't no Esher. Ain't no Esher. That's not me. Stay alert. Oh, here we. Oh, shit! All sorts of good stuff. All right, Iron Fist. All right, the alarm's going off. It's not good. The the man manufactorium. Oh Jesus! Look out for that. I can't tell what's going on. Oh, he oh shit! Go get him, puppy. Good boy. Oh, right, Isha, the, the shielders. Yeah, I see that. Are they shooting me, dog? Ah! Ah. Open the action wheel, hold, and select med kit. Where is he go? He just disappeared through... Oh, my God, this is insane. I don't care if it's dumb. My, my dog that just spawns in to save the day and do a bloody Spider-Man, everyone gets one. I'm all right with that at, at all times. Let's go. Full damage is for chumps. I tend to agree. Holy dooly. What's going on here? Oh. You're okay, okay. Go. Apparently my dog's broken. I think they killed my dog. Oh, my dog's on dead cooldown, I suppose. Oh, this, this goes great. 
Am I hurting? I think I am. Bum, 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 bum. The shooting's not bad. I'd go so far as to say it's good. It's tight. Oi, 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 oi. So what happened to all the troopers? Well, I don't know, all their heads have been exploded. It's hard to tell. Yeah, go get him, big fella. Yes, my boy. I'm getting close. So it feels like there's a Sorry. after I reload. I yeah, there's a bit of a like a lockout before she'll start firing again. It's a bit. It feels a little bit. I don't know if it's easy to explain through video, but like I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll reload and then I'll be holding right click and spamming left click. You see what I mean? Like after it reloaded. There's, there is like a half second pause and it's noticeable. Is in Especially when we're in a culture where we just spam the reload button, right? What's this? Stims keep you from dying and are used automatically when you run out of HPs. They can be bought in the equipment menu. That's cool. I like that. Keep the party bloody rolling. Look at this. This, this fiction, this whole thing is fantastic. Ah. See you later. Oh my god. She's cactus. Oh. It almost feels like my gun's jamming. Like sometimes it feels like it's locking out. Let's get this thing. Fuck it. Yeah, good, good, good puppy. Yeah, good, good. Oh, yeah, good. I'm, I can't even see what was happening then. What was I hitting him with then? I don't know. But he's dead. Oh my god, yeah, okay. So th these are the unstoppable gangs of Necromunda. Who am I? I'm bloody Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm just ripping through these dudes like they're bloody butter across bread. Oh, I don't know, unless I miss every single bullet on the way. That's a possibility. Let's get involved. You did? Oh, uh, what is that? My refractor field. Recharge. It could be I'm going through all my stims though. I don't know. I can't tell. I, it, I think I have three. Alright, which one am I going? Oh, hey, here we go. And it's showing me as well. Thanks, game. There's dozens of them. What the hell? Have That's they too? I'm gonna hold them here until. Fatal. Where are you? It's always Excellent. impressive how they can hold down the comms on? while they death scream. I heard. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> what the hell? Come on.
Oh, whatever. Let's go. I like that the dog bloody spots them for me. Oh, come on. It is interesting, like, clip them in the head and that's it, they die immediately. I guess I'm used to RPGs and that, right? Shoot them in the ankle about 17 times, they keep going. What's going on, Leto? It's not! Esha HQ6. Treasure chest 2 out of 5. Survive the ambush. Oh, did I kill everything too quick? Leto! Leto! Oh, Jared Leto. Oh, here I am. I'm back. Always work alone. Always work alone, except for the dog thing. Now look at this. Let the brute have a little fun. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, dog, you're just gonna stand there and tank? Okay. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, his shield is exploding and bloody giant gorilla men jumping and dog standing still basically T posing. Door. Done. Nah. Oh, hello. Sorry, I forgot about you. Slash didn't know about you. Oh, that looks a bit warm. Let's let's wait for it to cool before I put me tootsies on it. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at this. Jesus. Who built this bloody house? That's him. Hello, miss. <laughs> oh yeah. We'll go through this tunnel. Rather you didn't. Rather you didn't. Duh. Am I supposed to be sliding around more? Do I get iframes if I slide? I get a feeling it's trying to do some sort of bullet storm thing. Tell you what, the, the shooting's going all right. Like, I'm getting away with hip firing a bit. But the hip firing feels generous. I doubt it's that I'm a good aim. Rather not. Excuse me, miss. Oh, I can't shoot you with your reflector field, but I can bust your shield and then stab you in the bloody throat. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. This is good. What is that? It's like a gun or something? Oh, tell me it's going to launch me or something. Oh. Sound seems a bit off. <laughs> Oh, who's this black? Uh oh, my frame rate. Where's it gone? Maybe it's supposed to be like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. All right, now what? Look at this. Basic, equipped, equipped. Iron Fist, space bar to sort by highest price. Well, I just have the one thing by the look of it, right? Um, Non-transferable loot will be sold. Oh, I can take it? Oh.
you know, I want all of the things. Whatever. Suit? Yeah, okay. Give me more suits. I don't understand what's happening here. Wait, so I have to manually take all this crap? Where's this go? Items. Okay, so I think these are upgrades. Plus 4% crit chance. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Archaeotech. Yeah, I'll put that there. Lucky Charm. Oh, that goes down there. Yeah, all right, I'll take... What is this loot system? Where's the loot all? Left control. What's left control and left alt? Oh, oh. Yeah, all right, I'll take... <laughs> what is going on? This is so weird. Okay. Result. Class C. Medical maintenance fees S. Yes. Kill style. All right. So the, I think there is like a, a bullet storm. St okay. We've got skins. Okay. Yeah. All right. Martyr's end. In rough situations, never forget to call your dog with C. His help will be precious. Yeah. Okay. Give me more tips. Look in every corner. You might find precious chests. Special finish move. Okay. Cooldown augments. All right. Martyrs Inn. The largest settlement in this part of the Underhive. Okay. That's cool. Proceed. Get a bit of narrative. Who's there? Oh, you know me. What is that haircut? Yeah. This dude's straight out of 30 Where seconds to Mars. Where am I? I bet he thinks he looks cool too. Martyr's End. Martyr's End. It's like an anime character. Martyr's End. Beyond Thorian's Dome, beyond the bad zones of Delta 7, far from where you want to be, I'll wager. But a better place than you'd be in otherwise. I Tell what, these dudes look much better. Better than I would be if I hadn't met you. I saved your life. Feels <laughs> like you did a great job. Oh. I suppose it all depends on what you imagine being dead feels like. You seem keener than you should be on finding out. I don't like this man. Immediately I dislike this man. What happened? He has the worst haircut ever and an unironic goatee. He's, he's winning all the combo prizes. Remember, you only just made it this far. I'm going to leave you with my friend here. There's a watering hole right outside. The Blessed Temple, they call it. You can find me there when you're ready. Ready for what? That's the fun part. Finding out. Uh, okay. Okay. What is that? that dude's got a bloody Final Fantasy VII sword. What's that about? All right. All right. Talk to the rogue doc. Learn more about augmetics. Augmetics. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. What is this place? I'm Malakachin. Of course you are. You may call me Malak. <laughs> I'm a chirurgeon, and this is my surgeon. You mean just a surgeon? Lucky to be here. Damn. A rogue doc. If you prefer. Yes. What did you do to me? Nothing. I didn't have to. Well. Maybe a little more than I had to. That's a most impressive set of bionics. They would have been a pleasure to work with, but for all the bleeding flesh getting in the way. Thanks. No. I'm sure there used to be more of it. Your friend is right. Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Well, he was right. You should have died. It's only those bionics of yours that saved you. Okay. But still, there was a lot of damage. It will take you a little while to heal. And a little while to get used to the changes. What? A few adjustments. An internal reservoir. Well, that sounds interesting. A implant. You'll find they're all improvements once you get used to them. A cerebral implant. Where the hell did that come from? From uh. my friend, Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Oh, I'd say he is now. These bionics, once you have healed, 
They will allow you to do incredible things. But there might be a few adjustments I need to make. Right. It works first time. Not when you're working with materials like these, anyway. You should come back and see me when you're ready to find out what you're really capable of. Okay. Very cool. So what's going on here? I can buy upgrades. A grapnel launcher. What's a ferric lure? Why are you showing me a video? Oh, it, oh, it magnets in my loot. Okay, okay. Suspenses. I can wall run and shoot things. Okay, okay. What's this? An electrocute blokes. Okay, cool. So I've got magic powers. I've got arms ones. I've got internal ones. I've got one for me brain. That's cool. Can I do more advanced mathematics now, perhaps? I'll take one of those. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, nice. I right, look, I like this game. Um, it's very edgy, uh, but I do. I find the setting really interesting at the very least. You know what I mean? The, all the details of this world. Look at all these just random moving cogs and shit and rusted pipes and you know half price haircuts. It's very, it's very cool. It's very different, right? Look at this bloody hanging skulls at your storefront. I bet that brings the customers in, mate. Okay. Nice. I can't. I can't read that. That's cool. What's going on over there? Parabellum. Okay. Bullets. Yeah, I can. I understand that. And there's a pub. Something loud upstairs. Look at the vents up there. Oh man, this is bonkers. Look, the the, the shooting actually feels pretty good, right? Like I said, it's been very generous. There's got to be some sort of soft auto aim in there. I'm not that good a shot, but I was just zapping dudes left and right. But I found the more I ADS the long shots, the more I missed as well. So I, I think there's a bit of play. It seems really keen to make me do some bullet storm combo stuff. I'm curious how that plays out. There's been plenty of jank and some performance hitching as well. Um, but, uh, but I over, that sort of stuff is easily overlooked if the game is fun and interesting, and that's what this is. The shooting is fun, it is absolute power fantasy trip, and, um, I wonder if they've depowered me significantly. You know how they do in video games? You get the intro with all the, all the Gucci kit, and then you have to play in a crap sort of state. They depower you from amnesia or something. I don't know, we'll see. Um, the dog's cool, but like things glitching out multiple times, whatever. I don't mind. Like I said, it gets a pass from me because this was ball of fun and I'm looking forward to playing more. So there you go. There's my honest thoughts on it. Get around it if you're looking for exactly what this is. A B-grade shooter with tight enough mechanics. Like it's not, it's not sloppy, bad, like miserable. I hate the shooting or anything like that. It feels pretty good to be perfectly honest. Um, and, uh, and it, there's a lot of heart going into this weird world, too. So this is cool. I think this is a little gem for sure. All right. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.